Good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, so it's about um, 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I just woke up. I might fall back to sleep. Um, but so the surgeon's like assistant or something. I don't know what he is called, but he came in and looked at everything and he like, like touched like w where the tube with the blood is coming out, which is like right under my happy trail. And that hurt a lot, but he said that that's the most sensitive area. Um, and he was telling me about like, you know, what days we're going to do certain things and stuff. And, um, he said that everything is looking good and that, um, I had like, like surgery went really well and everything. So that sounds good. Um, they've been giving me Toradol every six hours, I think, um, which helps with pain. Ooh. And like Tylenol as well. I don't know how often they're giving that to me though. And last night they gave me some Oxy, which I don't really think I needed, but I mean, it worked. I was expecting just to get more Tylenol, but I don't know, but it worked and I felt fine. Um, apparently, so I don't know exactly why. So they told me that with being um, in the hospital bed, I can only be up at like a 45 degree angle. Whereas last night I was probably up like cl closer that, to like 90, like a like sitting straight up than I was to 45. So, but I didn't know that till this morning. So I guess maybe that's common. Um, I'm assuming it's just to make sure I'm not like maybe bending the tubes that are inside me or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good day. I'm super tired, but it's a good day. Also, I just wanted to say thank you all to have been reaching out to me and giving me support and like all your like kind words. Like I'm not used to getting all these comments on my videos. Um, <laughs> and I see so many of you like telling me you're happy for me and like saying good luck and like, I don't know, it just means a lot to have, you know, people doing that for me. Um, so yeah, I wanted to say thank you for that. So it's about 7.30, they just brought me breakfast, which is like French toast and potatoes and sausage. Um, I didn't order my own breakfast this morning, I guess. They're supposed to call me, but they like didn't last night or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, anyways, um, I want, oh, you can't even see my face. <laughs> um, I did want to mention in here that um, yesterday I was kind of in and out of sleep a little bit. Um, with, like, the pain meds and I think just leftover from the anesthesia. But, like, by the time the anesthesia seemed to, like, completely wear off, um, I've been basically awake, like, not, like, drifting in and out. So, I don't know. I tend to not be somebody that goes in and out of sleep. I'm, like, very, like, awake. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, like, one of those people, like, I'll be, like, a morning person. Like, I'll wake up and, like, if I get up after, like, 10 minutes I'll be fine like I'll be awake so I haven't been drifting in and out of sleep but um they are giving me some medication but I think it was just like I think they've been doing Toradol and Tylenol which Toradol goes in your IV and Tylenol is a pill um but yeah so that's that's that <laughs> um I'm gonna eat breakfast but I just wanted to check in before I do that so yeah. Oh, and, oh my god, I didn't, wait, did I mention that the surgeon came by? Or the, oh, I did, I think. The surgeon's, like, assistant dude, or whoever he was, came by, and I think I said that in the first video, so. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I'll talk to you later. I forgot to mention, um, they also gave me an ice pack for my, like, area for where, um, I, like below my happy trail where the tube is. They gave me an ice pack to help it feel better. Um, I don't know if it's actually helping or not. 
I did kind of have to move it like directly off like so they have it wrapped up but like it's kind of a heavy um thing and like if I have it on top it can kind of hurt so it's off to the side a little bit um so I don't know if that's actually working or not but I guess we'll find out um yeah not much going on today um so that that's honestly about it I'll keep you updated so so it's about 9 10 um and my nurse just came in and gave me a Lovenox shot which I've actually taken before when I was in the hospital for my CF and I was too tired to be walking around but it's basically a shot that makes it so like your blood inside you doesn't clot and you don't get like a blood clot in your legs or like you don't have a stroke or like whatever um they put that in my stomach which it burned for a little bit which she said was normal because i haven't had it done in a long time so i couldn't quite remember um but like now it's feeling fine it's been a few minutes um i think that's that's all for this morning right now oh i do want to say um the surgical site like where i had it done um is very numb i can like touch it and like it feels like like, I can't feel it down there, but I can feel it on my hand, you know? Almost like I'm, like, touching somebody else's, basically. <clears throat> and I asked the nurse if that was, like, just due to the swelling and, like, due to the fact that I just had surgery. Or if they, like, gave me some medicine that makes it do that. Um, and she said it wasn't any medication that, like, the nurses were giving me, but that it could have been, she said, the surgeon might have put in a block. I don't really know what that means, but... Maybe it's, like, something that keeps you numb. I don't know. So, whenever I see the surgeon or his assistant or whoever tomorrow, I will <clears throat> be sure to ask them. Oh, I will say, if you cough or sneeze at all, it, like, you know how, like, your stomach and stuff, like, scrunches up. So, it's, like, like, it does not feel the greatest when you cough or sneeze, but... Um, Luckily, I've been very healthy. Oh, actually, here's something that's really, really great that I don't think I mentioned in my other videos. Because it has to do with CF, actually. Um, okay. So, before I came to the hospital, it was like last week, I think. Yeah, obviously, because I came to the hospital yesterday. Um, I So, I guess my CF doctors hadn't, like... I got an approval letter from my CF doctor like years ago, but the my surgeon here wanted like an updated one, which makes sense. So they reached out to my doctor and she said that she wanted me to take a PFT um, test, which is like basically this lung test that I take to show that my lungs are functioning okay. And, um, <clears throat> and then she would like sign off on me for surgery or whatever. So... Um, for those of you who don't know about cystic fibrosis, it messes up a lot of things, including my weight and my um, lungs. And about two and a half years ago, I cannot believe it's been that long, but about two and a half years ago, I started a new medication um, called Trikafta, which if you're interested, it looks like like oh God. Um, yeah. it looks like this i take the blue ones at night and the yellow ones in the morning um but anyways so <clears throat> once i started that my lungs got a lot better they were down to about 20 like at the lowest they were at like 22 percent um compared to other people my age sex and height um and then that, and then once I started, or between like 22% and like 35%, and then once I started Trikafta, I've been consistently getting in the 40s, um, but when I did this last one, I actually hit 50%, which doesn't sound like all that great, because like it's still only 50% of what like normal people do, or like non-CF patients would do, <clears throat> um, but still like that's a really big achievement, I never thought I'd be able to hit 50%. So that's very, that was very exciting. And I remember like I called my, not my, I can't speak to my doctor directly. So I called the, um, oh, 
what's it called? The CF coordinator. She's the one who handles like if I need refills or if I um, need to set up an appointment or like things like that. And um, I called her to let her know, like I sent the information over for my test because I can do it at home. And she was like, whenever you have your next appointment, we're all going to cheer for you because that's so great. And like, it was really nice. Um, it's very nice to have good lungs, especially <clears throat> for something like this. Um, I had a consult with another surgeon like back in 2020 before I um, met and settled with Dr. Del Corral. And that surgeon that I met with, um, she's actually from Ireland and I guess CF is very common over there. So she like knew a fair bit, but she said that she had a patient with I think COPD or something, some sort of lung problem. And <clears throat> after they were out of surgery, they coughed so much that their packing came out and they didn't have their packing and their hole closed up. Um, so I was like a little bit worried about that, but my coughing has been so under control. And then with my lungs being at 50%, like I'm not worried about that at all. And like, it's really refreshing just to like not have to worry about my CF because that was something that, especially before Trikafta, like it was basically taking over my life and it was really like disappointing and sad and like I kind of just didn't have control over like my life. So <clears throat> I have like something in here, but um, but other than that, like I I feel great. Um, I'm tired. But I feel good. Also, the it's kind of weird having the catheter in because sometimes, like, they have to, like, empty the bag or whatever. And, like, if they move it, it feels like it, like, it almost, like, tickles. Like, it's, like, so weird. But I don't even know how to explain it. But, you know, whatever. So, but yeah, that's how my day is going so far. I hope y'all are doing good or doing well, I mean. Um, yeah. Oh, one more thing that... I did not think to add, um, from my, I think it was from my first, no, like, my first, like, vlog video, um, with, like, taking the magnesium citrate and the Miralax and stuff, um, honestly, like, it's, I forget exactly when it started, um, but it finished basically before Trey and I left to go to Baltimore, and we left around 3.30, um, there was still a little bit left like coming out and I went to the bathroom and whatever when I was at the hospital but like the bulk of it was like done by then and I had I didn't have any issues like as far as I know from like what they told me I didn't have any issues like being under anesthesia and like accidentally like things coming out or something um so it did like finish itself up in time um and honestly it wasn't even that bad like in the beginning, it was kind of, like, annoying because I had to run to the bathroom a, uh, a bunch. But, like, eventually, like, I don't know. It didn't even last that long. Like, maybe the first, like, hour, hour and a half after it started was, like, kind of, like, ooh, there's, you know, whatever. But then, like, once I got to Trey's house, like, it wasn't, like, I think I went maybe three or four times while I was there. And we were, but we were there for, like, a while. And, like, I laid, like, when I was going to bed, I laid down in a towel and, like, clothes that I didn't care if they ended up getting ruined or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. Um, and, but, like, nothing came out while I was sleeping either. So, like, it was finished up pretty quickly. I think the fact that, like, I didn't have any food that day really helped if I... You know, if they would have told me I could have breakfast and then I did that, it might have been worse, but... That, ooh, sorry. No, it was fine. It was good. So, I just want to put that out there. I don't think I, like, talked about the timing, like, once it was actually finished, so... Yo, okay, so, because I had to take the, um... The Miralax and the, uh, Magnesium Citrate my stomach was like empty and then last night I ate for the first time <laughs> and like just now like there's a lot of air in my body I guess and like just now you know how like if you open a can of soda and it makes that like noise my freaking feeding tube <laughs> was like it was like letting air out of it and it was like bubbling it was like it like freaked me out for a second 
but like it's fine but i was like what the heck like little bubbles were coming out of it because like there was all that air in there i guess so oh but that was like kind of freaking me out but <laughs> oh my god but it's like it's good uh, hello so it's about 115 trey is back wait can you see him can they, can you, they see you yeah okay. wait no it's not a little bit no other way yeah. <laughs> um, he, he got here. When did he get here? Like eleven ten. Oh, right around eleven. Yeah. Um, I had a cheeseburger, some rice and gravy, some chicken and gravy, some mac and cheese, and some hot chocolate for lunch. Um, so currently my bed is like propped up a little bit, but my surgeon came in here, Doctor Del Corral, the nicest man alive. Oh my god, I love him. Um. <laughs> He came in here and he let me know that he wanted me to be laying on my back because I guess if I'm like sitting up too much or whatever, like then it, I don't know, something about the fluids in my body like go down to like the surgical area because that's the lowest point in my body if I'm sitting up. Um, so I'm trying to stay laying back. <clears throat> um... Yeah. Oh, today is March 31st, the day after surgery. I don't know if I said that, but I'm trying to keep the dates of like everything that I, everything that I do. Um, yeah, eating has been going great. Um, I am like a little gassy just because it's not funny. <laughs> um, just because of the, <coughs> <coughs> the bowel prep thing I had to do on Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> there's like all this air in me. So now that I'm eating, it's like pushing it out. And that's why like earlier there were little bubbles coming out of my feeding tube. Um, it's so weird. Um, yeah, Dr. Del Corral came in and said surgery went really well and that everything was looking good and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like he seemed like everything went as well as it could. So that makes me feel good. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm just watching, I don't know if any of you watch like true crime stuff, but um, I watch a lot of Kendall Ray on YouTube and she does true crime. And I don't know, she's always, I always like hearing her voice. She's like, I don't know, she seems like a good person. Um, so I'm watching some of her videos. Um, I'm eating just fine. I haven't had any issues. Um, my voice and throat is still a little off because of um, the tube that they put down it through anesthesia. Um, I did have, oh my God, okay. I did have, a, a, she wasn't a nurse. So I don't know what she was doing, but she was in here. And she said, she like misgendered me for whatever reason. And there was a, my actual nurse was in here. It, like, the first person said something like, oh, like, does he want this or something? As if I can't just answer myself. Um, and then the nurse was like, she does not. And then, like, when that person left, like, the nurse was like, sorry about that. So that was nice. Like, I, I don't mind getting called she. Like, that's perfectly, like, fine unless you're, like, a really, like, close friend of mine or whatever. But so that was nice like it, it wasn't like a whole big thing and like it honestly didn't even bother me that she misgendered me and then it was just nice that like my um nurse like corrected her or whatever that was like refreshing so so yeah um not a whole lot going on still just laying in bed um definitely have some pain but it's just kind of achy it's not not too bad and everything's going fine and it's nice to have Trey here I just took a little nap I'm not like exhausted but if I close my eyes and relax I can definitely sleep so that's nice um yeah so I think that's everything <laughs> all right bye hi so it's five 23 right now um i've just basically been laying in bed all day i did sleep a little bit i've been kind of on and off um i know i took some videos earlier 
They gave me a little bit of Oxy, I think it was like five milligrams to help with the pain, um, which definitely helps, but like, it's like, it's a good amount. Like I don't feel like out of my mind or whatever on it. Last night, the nurse gave me 10, which I'm not sure why, because when I was talking to my nurse today, which is a different nurse, she was like, uh, when she, she asked like if I wanted Oxy because they were out of Tylenol, I think, or something. So I said, sure. And then I was telling her my pain rating or whatever. And she was like, like, oh, we only give people two Oxy if it's above, if your pain level is above a seven. But like last night, my pain level is not above a seven. So I don't know why she gave me two. But regardless, like I'm doing okay. Um, <clears throat> Trey left for the day. So it's just me here. I've just been watching. I re I'm starting to rewatch Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> It was like one of my favorite shows. Oh my god. Um, so I'm rewatching that. Um, not a whole lot going on. I just had dinner, which was nice. I really like, like they have a lot of options here and their food tastes good too. Like not like, you know, not like a fancy restaurant good, but like better than most hospital food. Like I'm actually excited to eat when my food comes up to me. So, um, so that's been good. Um, pain level right now, honestly, not really a whole lot. Just a little bit of discomfort. I think probably the Oxy helped to bring it down. I think Tylenol, like, <clears throat> helped a little bit, but this definitely helped more, which is nice. Um, oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I did drop my phone on my <laughs> surgical site <laughs> earlier, and it hurt really bad. Um, but you know, whatever. Um, not really a whole lot new going on from the last time that I made a video, which I think was only like a few hours ago. So this will probably be the last video for this, um, video, the part three or whatever. Um, I think either to, I think it's Saturday that they're planning on having me get out of bed or it might be tomorrow I don't remember but at some point relatively soon within the next few days they're gonna have me get out of bed and like I don't know if I'm gonna walk around or they kind of said just about me like moving to the chair that's in my room just to get me up and moving um but yeah so that's gonna happen and then on I think the fifth day is when they take out the packing and the catheter um, which the way that I asked my doctor, cause I wasn't sure, like yesterday is the day I got surgery. So I wasn't sure if that counted as day one or if that counted as like nothing and like today's day one. And they said that yesterday basically doesn't count as a day. So like today is like day one, even though I was here yesterday and from like noon on or whatever, like I was up in this room and stuff, but, um, so I think it's day five. So it'd be six days after surgery that they would be taking out the packing and um, <coughs> uh, taking out the catheter. So it's a little bit uncomfortable, but like, it's fine. Like, it's like, honestly, it's not bad. Like I would have thought it would have been a lot worse. I have my little crystal here <laughs> um, or the one of them anyways. So, yeah, everything's been going good. The staff are really, like, on top of things. Um, they're all really sweet, really nice. Um, one of them actually told me about a crystal store that's, like, nearby to here. <laughs> um, she was sweet. So, um, and, like, when Trey was here earlier, he was working. So, we didn't really talk, but it's still nice to just have somebody here. So, and they said that um, I asked if he could buy me snacks, like, Cause he's not, he doesn't stay overnight here cause they, they have like certain visiting hours. And she said, yeah, like he can get me whatever I want. So I gave him my debit card and he's gonna come back tomorrow with a bunch of little snacks, which should be exciting. Cause I've been trying to eat more just in general because um, I noticed that I'm not, like with my CF it's, even though I'm on the medication, uh, Trikafta, it's still not super like, easy for me to gain weight like I kind of just stay in one spot um 
so I've been trying, like, I'll, like, wake up and eat breakfast and then maybe have one more meal throughout the day. So actually being in the hospital has helped me, like, make sure I'm eating three meals a day, which is nice. Um, and then having something to snack on, I think, will help a lot as well. Um, my stomach feels fine. Like, I wasn't sure if it would get weird since, like, I didn't have anything in it for, like, a day and a half or whatever. I didn't know if... It would cause problems when I started eating again, but it didn't. I feel fine. Um, so yeah, um, everything's going well. Um, I don't think there's really much to update you on at all, but yeah. So this will be the end of part three. And then I don't know if I'll, like tomorrow, it, the next few days will probably be a part of part five since there's not really... A whole lot that's going on there's not really much to update you on um, I might take like one video tomorrow to say how I'm doing and then do one like on what is tomorrow Hold on. and then one on like Saturday I think Saturday I'm um, actually my brother and or my mom is gonna be visiting because they live nearby that's who Trey is staying with um so he didn't have to get a hotel so um I know my brother wants to come I don't know about my mom, I don't think they, like, discussed it yet. Because you can only have one person in here at a time. So they kind of have to, like, figure it out. My brother doesn't have his own car. So, like, someone would have to bring him. And then they would just have to be, like, driving around or doing something else or, like, whatever. So I'm not really sure. But um, I'm pretty sure Trey said that my brother wants to see me on Saturday. And maybe my mom will come Saturday, too, or, like, Sunday or something. I don't know. But oh, that's everything for now. Um, it's about 5.30. I think I did say the time earlier when I started this, but yeah, so that's everything. Um, good night. Thank you all. I do want to say thank you again. I know, like, I've said this in some of my videos, but, like, seriously, having, like, a community, I guess, um, or, like, I don't know, posting these things on, um, YouTube, like, as much as I hear from all of you, or some of you, anyways, that it helps you, like, it, it really helps me, and, like, honestly, like, the support that I've gotten, and, like, the level of, like, yeah, just, like, support, I don't even know what other word to use, like, has really been, like, uplifting, um, and really been helping me throughout this process, and just in general with being trans in this society, you know, um, but especially, like, with this hospital stay, like, I was not expecting so many of you to comment and just be, like, congratulations, like, good luck, I hope everything goes okay, and, like, it really does mean a lot because, well, I don't even know how to explain why, I guess it's just fairly obvious as to why, but it does mean a lot, and I really appreciate all of you who have taken the time to reach out to me, even if it's just, like, a small little comment or something, um, it really means a lot to me and like I feel I don't know I feel like a really big sense of like community with all of you and it's something that like you know I've seen like other people who have platforms whether they're like really big like actors and actresses or if it's like someone on YouTube or whatever like and they're like oh like my like fans I wouldn't call you my fans I think that sounds weird but like they'll say like the the people who like support their like career or their transition or like you know whatever it is that they're big for um you know they're like oh like those people mean so much to me and it always kind of like struck me as odd like like I didn't quite understand it um but now like being in that position where I have a platform and I have so many people like offering me support and kindness and just like being so uplifting like I totally know what those people mean when they say that like their, like, followers or support system or fans or whatever you want to call them, like, are so important to them and, like, how they, like, basically help them to keep pushing on. Like, I really understand what that feels like now and, like, it's a really big thing and even if you don't understand it. So I was almost done talking. I don't remember exactly what I was saying, but my nurse came in, which is why I stopped. But, um... But yeah, I, all in all, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have shown me support and like, it means more than you might know. Um, 
and I wish I knew how to convey it through words, how it feels to have that kind of support system, um, but I don't think I can convey it, so hopefully you just understand, at least on some level, but <sighs> good night, and I will see you again tomorrow. <laughs>